Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall iTunes. Let's say you had some problems on iTunes and it doesn't want to work correctly, or it's just having problems on there and it just needs to be fixed by uninstalling it. Or let's say you want to install a new version instead of upgrading the new version for the newest update by pretty much their automatic system right here that does it. It's the Apple Auto Software. Coming up, you can download the actual file and update it too, or if you just want to uninstall it, because you're going into Android world. Regardless, it's your options for it. I'll be showing you how to uninstall it. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So first thing, you just go ahead and go to Start, and you'll go to pretty much Settings right there. From Open Up Settings, you'll see Apps. And then you see you have quite a few Apple products here, right, for it. We have the Apple applications, all the way up to Bungar, that's also an Apple product. So first thing you just go ahead and continue scrolling down until we uninstall the iTunes. From there, we're going to go ahead and press uninstall. And you'll probably be prompted for this. Go ahead and press uninstall for it. Right now it's doing its work. We're going to see if it's going to actually just uninstall the file. Well, here it is. It's probably prompting us right here. And it's going to slowly gather more information. It might just be uninstalling it right now. It tells it's remaining. So it's pretty much just uninstalling the program. So it seems that iTunes has been uninstalled. You don't see it underneath this list, but just because you uninstall iTunes doesn't mean that there's additional programs that are in this list. So right here, we're gonna install the other unnecessary programs that got installed here when iTunes got installed for it. So we're gonna go ahead and uninstall also the Apple applications. That means that pretty much you'll press uninstall. Now again, this is only in case if you're not going to like reinstall iTunes because let's say you're going to Android or you just don't want these programs anymore. So we're going to go ahead and uninstall the other unnecessary parts that came with the Apple product. So that one's been uninstalled. We'll go to the next one. And you'll press uninstall. It'll probably be prompted. You have to press yes for this to continue. Again, it may not even pop up. It'll probably just continue flashing underneath the bottom until you do it. Because you need to automatically close the application. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Let it do its work. Next one again will be the Apple mobile devices. You'll press uninstall again. And you see, again, like I told you, it's just popping up. It's not actually popping up right in front of you, so you have to literally have to select it for it to come up. And press yes, and again, you probably have to, well, it pretty much disappeared that one real quick. And you'll go to the next one, the Apple software update. You can press uninstall. This is probably going to be a quick one. Pop up again. Go ahead and press yes. And in case if you're having problems on here, I've made videos before how to do it, how to uninstall, but I'm going to make you make one separately on this part right here. So let's say if you've been trying to uninstall those programs and somehow they're not here, and you see I made this video to show you how to. Second option to get to there is going to pretty much go to start, and I'll type in control panel, and I'll go to programs, and programs and features. And again, you'll see the list of programs right here, and they pretty much on here shows a little bit more details that it's a publisher of Apple. You'll select it and you'll pretty much double click it or click the uninstall button. And you'll probably be prompted, press yes. Same thing, go ahead and press yes. And just allow it to finish uninstalling the programs. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching from Hilton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest I will see you on the next video.